Happy 2020. Um, surprise, this is kind of new for me too. Uh, Dare to Begin has its first ever video vlog versus a blog post. I have so missed posting the last couple of weeks. I actually took a little vacation to Houston, Texas to see my family who lives there. And then of course, enjoy the holidays with my family. So I appreciate your patience as I'm getting back on board but also, of course, being okay with taking a little break every once in a while. But happy 2020. I am so happy that it is a new year. There's something so awesome about New Year's, especially if you are a person like me who loves to get a new planner, which I'm looking at my one over here. I love it so much. I'm going to even show it to you because I'm a nerd. Um, I got my 2020 planner. Cute pink. Um, I got my water. Try to meet all my goals here um, that you can keep me accountable for. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to encourage you today uh, quickly, just because I was supposed to write a blog post. I was planning on writing a blog post. And then, of course, I left my computer at work because I went in a little bit today to prepare for the new school semester since I am a fifth grade teacher. And I left my computer there for some reason. I never do that. And then, I, I mean, I could do it from my phone, which is harder but I just wasn't feeling motivated to, but I, I had this word on my heart. And so I was like, okay, so what? And I was just sitting here watching guys grocery games on Food Network, I kid you not. It's, it's intense. And uh, <laughs> if you're a Food Network HGTV junkie like I am, and I just felt the Lord go like, can't you just record it? Like, can't you just video it? And I mean, it's been on my heart to start a channel for a while. But it's also nerve wracking. It's like another step towards being raw and real. Like it's one thing to hide behind the computer and type away. And it's another thing to get in front of the camera where people can make fun of your big forehead, high ponytail, um, the fact that you just came from the gym and that you're waiting on your husband to come home with the M&M milkshake. <laughs> All that was super real. See, this is what happens. I get in front of a camera, I ramble, and then I delete it. Now I'm not gonna delete this. I just know that God has put it on my heart for a while to start a channel and make this even more real. And my word for the year, believe it or not, <laughs> is courageous. And I'm curious to know how God gave me that one. Um, I actually got a prophetic word that had courageous in it. And it has just been echoed, echoed, echoed for the last month. And I'm, it's almost like I'm anxious just thinking about it. But I get to have you guys hold me accountable for being courageous this year. I've got so many fun things planned. I've got trips and, and um, adventures and some new classes I'm taking, which I'm not going to spoil that yet. I have a giveaway coming up. I have one year anniversary for Dare to Begin. I'm so excited. February is going to be the biggest party month ever, aside from, of course, Valentine's Day, which... Eli, thanks a lot for changing the battery in my car um, remote that's dead. Thank you, bud. Um, so many things ahead, but as we go into this new year, I do want to encourage you just because this is the word that I had on my heart and I want to make sure that I'm obedient to God with it. Um, that, you know, it's, a, it's awesome, but we start all these New Year's resolutions and goals in the beginning of the year. And then we don't follow through with them and it's great. Um, whether that's for me, hoping to continue to run and run a 10K in April um, or, you know, drinking all the water that you can, water your plants, um, which I have one right here. Um, whatever it could be that you're wanting to do, it's so easy to set those goals and get excited about them. And it's another thing to do them. And then we get discouraged and it, it gets crazy, but I just want to remind you that you can drink all the green juice and run all the miles and, you know, have your whole life planned out in this planner. But at the end of the day, I don't have my whole life planned out. My life was planned before I was ever born. There was already a, a predestined thing for my life and I get to choose whether I will allow God to 
set that out for me, whether I give him the reins to move in my life so that I use all the giftings and talents that he gave me, um, that I walk the way that um, was predestined for me, the way that is the best for me because he has better things, more things that are better than I could ever imagine set for my life. And it's up to me to continue to walk with him and press in towards um, his goals for me as well. And so as much as I want to be, and a lot of people that I know who read this vlog want to be the planner kind of people, it's so important to remind ourselves that we got to give our first to the Lord. And I love, love how my pastor, Tim, said it so well this morning. Um, it's awesome that we're in church this morning because we dedicate our Sundays, which is the first of our week. Um, it's awesome that it's also the beginning of a decade and we're dedicating our first to the Lord in the beginning of the decade. It's also important though to dedicate the first of your day to the Lord, um, to pray, to have that relationship with him, to not let any of your other goals override the fact that he's first. Me and my friend were on the treadmill this evening and talking about how it feels impossible to wake up early enough to work out and that if we're going to work out consistently, it'll have to be in the evening time. And because we know people who wake up at like 4.30, go to the gym, come home, shower, still curl their hair, look pretty and come to work and teach for 10 hours. We're not those kind of people, but I mean, could I make the time and margin to do it? Absolutely, there's no excuse. But I would be taking away from the time in the morning that God and I have, and there's nothing worth sacrificing that for. There's not one thing I wanna sacrifice my morning time for, because it's that important to me. Um, I never feel better than I do when I give my first to Him. And I just wanna remind you that that is more important than any other goal. And so maybe you should make it your number one goal to make sure that you're having your devotion time with the Lord, that you are giving your first to him and giving him your heart every day and dedicating your day to him every day so that everything else will line up in place. So I just wanted to remind you of that because he has big plans for us and I feel like he'll give us direction if we seek him out. But, you know, it's like having the key to unlock something. There's this thing I heard where like a billion dollars or a million dollars worth of gift cards go unused every year. I don't know. Whether it's a million or a billion, that's way too much. When I get a gift card, I'm going to use it within like the couple hours I get it. It burns a hole in my pocket. I like free money. Can't blame me. So I would spend it. And it's like God who preloads, kind of like you preload a gift card with money, preloads these gifts in us because he knows what we're capable of. We don't. And then we don't spend it. All of it goes to waste. A billion dollars worth of gift cards go to waste. I wish I could find them. I wish there was like a detector that finds them for people. A billion dollars goes to waste. I don't want that to happen, but I can't sit here and say that I know my full potential either. It takes digging into his word, hearing his direction and stepping out in faith and taking action. And so I want you to stay tuned to this channel because you're gonna see me take some steps of action this year in some areas that I feel like it's time that I kind of step out in. Um, and you're gonna also be there with me through my grocery trips and my car chats and my, you know, crazy Amanda moments, my church nights and my church mornings because that's my life, my classroom. Uh, you're gonna see it all. And I hope uh, my realness, my testimony, my life, my um, emotions, feelings, all that that I go through, I hope that encourages you to, to see that like, hey, we're all human and it's okay to have our ups and downs, but everything, everything, everything points back to him and I will always give God the glory. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming and watching this long video because I ramble, but that's just who I am. So um, 
Have a good week and I'll see you soon.